Milwaukee police say four homicide investigations and 15 non-fatal shooting investigations are currently underway following the Thanksgiving weekend. A department spokesperson says at least one of those shootings was witnessed by children who were passengers in a victim's vehicle. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez with more now on the uptick in gun violence over the weekend. Angie. Good evening, Mary. Police say that some arrests have been made in some of these incidents, but they also suspect that some of the holiday gunfire could follow a trend they've seen all year long. It's been a very difficult year for everybody. Thanksgiving weekend launched four homicide investigations and 15 non-fatal shooting investigations in the city of Milwaukee. Things can escalate quickly. Sergeant Efrain Cornejo says some of the weekend shootings might follow a trend they've seen for the most part of 2020. A lot of them have been a result of arguments or a fight. Among the homicide victims was a 17 year old. I seen everything. So, you know, to me, it's just very traumatizing. One of the four homicides unfolded near 8th and Garfield. Two people were shot inside a car. One of them lost their life. Police say the shooting was witnessed by children inside the vehicle. They are asking for any information on a suspect. We need our community to help us. Community activist Tracy Dent wrote a song about stopping the city's gun violence. We really Change, gotta start with us. When your emotions take over, you're not thinking. Dent believes the pandemic and lack of economic opportunities in certain neighborhoods are partially to blame for the uptick in violence. But he says a lot of tragedy could be avoided if people took a moment to think before taking action. If we can control that, I believe there will be a whole bunch of homicides that would not be taking place. A thought echoed by MPD. Take a step back and just think of what's, what is, is this worth? worth risking, you know, losing a life. Milwaukee police say that they are asking the public for any help in solving those homicide investigations, particularly that homicide near 8th and Garfield. They say you can call Crime Stoppers where you can remain anonymous. Reporting live outside Milwaukee Police Headquarters, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. All right, hopefully somebody does come forward. Angelica, thank you.